Welcome to Coco's 2D Tutorials, brought to you by Bob Eulen. For more information, go to bobeulen.com slash Coco's2D. In this tutorial, we are going to look at object composition. We will illustrate by using object composition on a CC sprite. When you have a sprite, you can make it visible on the screen by adding it as a child to the layer. But what if you are not satisfied by the functionality that the sprite class provides? What if you would like to add some extra functionality represented by this blue line here? In that case, you have several possibilities. The first is to subclass the sprite class and add the extra functionality in the subclass. But if your extension involves attributes and methods that have nothing to do with CC sprites as such, then this is a bad idea. Another possibility is to create a new category and add that category to the sprite class. A category can be used when the behavior you want to add supplements that of the CC sprite. The category can add only new methods. It can't add new instance variables. Keep in mind that this category will affect all instances of CC sprites and not just those that you want to change. This might have unintended consequences. And the third option is something called object composition. In composition, you have a CC sprite object as one instance variable of your custom class. One advantage of composition is that you can hide complexities of CC sprite inside your custom class. For the users of your custom class, you can only expose what is necessary and nothing else. This keeps the overall complexity down. That is the reason why object composition is the preferred method among Apple developers. One last thing. In order to make the sprite visible on the screen, you must add the sprite to your custom class as a child and also your custom class to the layer. Let's go to Xcode and explore how object composition works. We are inside Xcode and we are starting from where we left off in the Schedule 3 Missiles project. And as you remember, we scheduled the call to the fire method once each second. And inside the fire method, we created the sprite and made it move from right to left. And after three invocations, we unscheduled the calls. Let's see how this works. After three missiles, nothing more happens. Now our missile is a sprite. Suppose that we want our missiles to be able to do much more complicated things than what sprites can do. In that case, we can use a custom class for our missiles instead of a CC sprite. And that custom class will have an instance variable pointing to a CC sprite, but will also have much more attributes and methods. In other words, we want to use object composition. Let's start by creating a new object. File, new file, objective C, it will inherit from a CC node. Let's call it missile.
openmissile.h. In order to save time, I will paste the code. The missile class imports Cocos 2D. But we also want to add a missile object as a child to our layer. So we have to import hello world layer.h. We have two instance variables. First, a CC sprite, which we call my sprite, and hello world layer, which we call my layer. As you can see, we have two properties corresponding to our instance variables. And we are also defining an init method so we can add the missile object to our hello world layer. Let's go to the implementation file and paste some code here as well. As you can see, we are synthesizing the accessor methods. And in the init method, we are adding ourselves as a child to the given layer. The next thing is to add my sprite. We can cut from the hello world layer and paste it here. We are not using missile name anymore, but instead my sprite. So let's change this to self.mysprite and also the other occurrences of missile to my sprite. There are four of them. One, two, three, four. That's all we have to do. Let's go to our layer. Let's first import missile.h and then we want to create a missile object. Missile, let's call it something like missile. Missile alloc init with layer self. As we have added this missile object to the layer, it is added to its array of children. Thus it is retained there, so we don't need to keep this reference around. Hence we can release it. Missile release. So let's see if this works. It works just fine. So what do we have here? Instead of using sprites, we are now using missile objects. And here we can add new instance variables. And we can add new methods. Now we have much more freedom to make our missile objects more capable. Thank you for watching.